you guys? Y'all tuned in with your boy Southern Smoke Boss today, and we back at it again today. And we're about to be doing one of my favorite videos and my favorite all time meal that I love for Sunday's dinner. So, yes, I'm making Sunday's dinner, best believe <clears throat> Can y'all guess what it is, though? All right, so I went to Sam's at first and I tried to get some and you know get them because I can buy them by the bundle there. So, I ended up having to go to Walmart and get some oxtails. Yep. So I got a couple packs of oxtails for the family. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna start by just implementing. Mm -hmm. And of course, we're gonna wash them off. So you see all that blood and that, uh, like the debris and stuff, probably from when they cut the bone and stuff. So we're just gonna wash it off with some lemon juice. And we're gonna soak it in that lemon juice and water for about two minutes. And then we'll rinse it off really good. And we'll get ready to start seasoning them up. So let's head on over to the sink and start washing them off. So we already added the lemon juice. Now we're gonna just run some cold water. Make sure you use cold water, please. And we just go let them soak in here for about two to three minutes and then we'll come back and wash them off really good, rinse them off. Turn on the stove top on, get the pan nice and hot, put some oil in there. We'll wait for the pan to get hot and we'll start up uh, browning them up. Now that we got our pan nice and hot, we want to go ahead and place them in. We're not cooking, we're just browning them just to uh, give them that nice color and we're gonna run a little bit of that fat on them. And we're not gonna overcrowd the pot, uh, frying pan as well. Listen, it does such an amazing, relaxing sound when you hear it.
So I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing up my gravy for my oxtails. So I got some brown gravy mix. I got a can of cream mushroom with roasted garlic. Uh, if you don't like cream mushroom soup, you can use cream of chicken. They also got like a beef uh, cream mushroom soup, but I couldn't find it in the store today, so I had to substitute. And I got beef broth. We're gonna be using two cups of the beef broth. So first we're gonna start off with just pouring two cups of beef broth in here. Then I'm going to pull my two packs of uh, brown gravy mix. And we're going to add in our uh, cream mushroom with roasted garlic. And we're going to combine all this together. If you can make a homemade gravy, you have the time, uh, you can make a homemade gravy, but this is just what I'm going to do today. So we can go ahead and add in our onions. So I got two whole onions here I've chopped up. And we're just gonna go ahead and uh, pour in our gravy that we mixed up. We're gonna go ahead and put this in the oven on 375 for about two hours and we'll come and check it. So they're getting uh, pretty done. We'll go ahead and set our timer for one more hour and they'll be ready to come out, man. So that's gonna be a total of three hours of cooking at 375. Okay, so it's been three hours and we'll go ahead and pull our oxtails out and they're gonna be nice and tender falling off the bone. And as you can see, how the meat has drawn back on the bone. <laughs> hey, so hey, we're in about 15, 20 minutes, we'll dive into them, let them uh, cool a little. Stay tuned. So I know y'all been waiting for this because I sure have, man. Mm, all off the bone. All off the bone good, man. I can't wait to dive into these. Ooh -wee. Look at that. All that meat. A little fat too, but they, they come fatty like that. If you ain't get no oxtail, no fat on there, ain't gonna be no good. But if you season that right, you can eat that fat, man. I'm telling you, it's gonna be the best you ever had. So I'd like to thank y'all for tuning in today. Give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't already, go ahead and push that subscribe button and drop some comments below and let me know have you ever tried oxtails. Thanks for tuning in. I'm out. Peace.